Hi, with this video I'm going to show how to assemble the HS6 GT DIY shifter. First I will start with uh, explaining what, it, what this part is and how it works because this is the most uh, important component from the shifter. This is a short throw shifter that you can buy on uh, AliExpress uh, that fits with the gearbox fitted in the engines from the Nissan SR20 and uh, it's a 5 gear shifter plus reverse so it's a 6 slotted uh, 6 slot uh, shifter the way it works is uh, you have uh, a ball a rotation uh, a ball that rotates around this point here that makes the movement front and back and lateral movement as well but here inside inside here there is two springs one here and one here that forces the lever to go to the center in the lateral movement front and back is completely free but lateral laterally you have two springs so that means the mechanism for the for the shifter will don't need to include a, uh, a return spring to the center in the lateral movement all this will be made with the shifter and uh, I really believe that it's possible to change the, sh the springs, the spring rate on here and this will give you a more force, a return force on the lateral movement uh, and uh, the way it actuates on the shifter will be with this ball so this ball will push the mechanism front and back and left and right so now we are going to talk about the 3D printed parts and how you can assemble uh, the shifter this is the offset lever it's the, composed by two, two components and it's really easy to assemble it's just a question of uh, putting this, uh, the screws and uh, this uh, component unfortunately uh, I don't know the name of this component uh, it's a threaded spacer this one is a M6 and this one is a M5 the length of this one is 30 millimeters and the length of this one is 25 millimeters and this is the a long nut M8 and to assemble is quite simple just put the stuff in the right place put this inside and slide it in and then later with these bolts and nuts and let's not forget that we need to put this here and here So now that uh, the first step from the offset lever is assembled, we are going to put it inside of the bottom case. The best way to do it is to put insert here the first nut uh, bolt and put this nut till the end, and then put the offset lever here inside. Screw it directly here, and. What I'd like to do is to use this tool here inside and then with the extra tool you make this nut uh, threaded strongly against the bolt first and then we screw the bolt till the end here and with this snug it okay now the other side 
bolt and then nut. Now the offset lever is assembled and free to move. Now let's talk about uh, how the engagement happens uh, between this part and here the offset lever. For that I will put in the wrong direction but just for explanation these two bolts here and this will be enough for you to understand how this works. So you have the actua actuation shaft, actuating shaft here uh, from, from the shifter that will go inside of this housing here and this will push the offset lever front and back, left and right. And you will have this gated shift this, uh, these uh, uh, screws here that will help to lock the mechanism in the right position when you want to engage. Now I'm going to explain how the, you transfer the movement from the shifter lever to, the, to this mechanism. So this ball will be inside of this housing here from the offset lever and uh, the way it works is when you want to engage uh, a gear you make on the shifter lev lever left for example the first gear uh, left and front and what this will represent will be a uh, inverted movement on the bottom of the shifter so it will rotate around the point to the left and then to the front so this will be the engaging of the first gear and to engage the second gear the offset lever will slide here and third you will engage here and fourth, fifth, sixth so let's, now let's talk about the switches this is uh, how the, uh, the support where the switches will be assembled and uh, the way I design it it's required to uh, open these holes with a threaded uh, uh, so you can later screw the, these bolts directly here and uh, the way I, uh, I designed this is using at the moment uh, M3 uh, bolts but uh, the, in the 3D model that I made av available and uh, the bill of material I don't, use M, uh, I don't suggest to use uh, M3 but M2 I'm just using M3 because my hardware store near me doesn't have M2 screws so I'm just using M3 and for that I needed to open the holes from the switch bigger because uh, the original dimension of the holes from the switch is uh, from this micro switch it's 2.5 millimeters so I just made it bigger to pass a screw of 3 millimeters and uh, I use this uh, tool to open the thread inside here. So now I will assemble it because there is one trick here that is the middle switch. The middle switch needed to be assembled first and it just needed one screw because I didn't have space to put uh, the second one because the these bolts here for the engagement of the of the of the of the gears will uh, they pass here really close to the switch so the way it's made is just putting here inside and here is the connector to connect to the Arduino board and uh, using this tool there is a passing through hole here that you can easily access the bolt and screw it in the right place. The rest of the switches is just a simple placing them and 
fix them. So the way this works is uh, when this uh, component here comes inside of the gate, it will be in contact with the micro switch and will engage the micro switch and send the information to the Arduino. The same happens to the to here and here. So you will have this uh, micro switch, six micro switch in the two sides and this will send the information to the Arduino. So now we are going to talk about how to make the three step movement from the from the lever when it goes front and back. So the neutral position, first, third and fifth gear and then the second the fourth, uh, the fourth, and the uh, sixth. So now we are going to talk about the mechanism that controls the position of the offset lever in the front, the neutral, and rear position of the lever. And the way it's uh, it's made is with this uh, ball bearing. This ball bearing, it's you can easily find. Uh, it's used for the 3D printers, uh, so it's a hardware that is really easy to find. Uh, and if you have a 3D printer, uh, there is a big chance that you have one ball bearing laying around, and you can use it to do this mechanism. And the way it's made, it's fixed. This is the only uh, hardware, uh, the only part that I needed to cut. I just use a normal screw and I cut it this thread and now I connect it here and this is fixed I put my ball bearing and then screw this component and position so the way this works this slides here inside free but the lateral movement is blocked it just allows to go up and down and front and back is blocked as well and this uh, part will be screwed directly here on these inserted nut nuts and but the important it's here and here there is uh, space for insert putting the, the springs and here I have two Variants of the springs. These are springs that uh, can be uh, can be found on the uh, heat bed from a 3D printer, and uh, I have these two variants. And uh, this one is uh, much softer and easy to compress than this one. This one I can compress maximum three millimeters with my fingers, and this one I can compress around five millimeters without much problem. So this one is much harder than this one. And uh, in filling, I prefer to use the soft one because this hard one is too too strong, and uh, it's I find that is not realistic and is not comfortable to to shift with this after using a lot this shifter, and this one gives you a, a better feedback. So the way it works, just put spring here spring here, there is the housing for this and this will go here on top and now offset lever is in the middle put it here and uh, I'm using these uh, bolts but they are the, these bolts are I had laying around at home so the recommended bolts are not this one but you can use whatever you want the one that fits you better. So, now, uh, 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 yeah. So, now the mechanism is uh, assembled. 
And one thing that is uh, really important to note is that the offset lever is completely free in the lateral movement, but front and back it's blocked because of the ball bearing. And uh, I, uh, I can achieve the, this lateral movement without any friction because the ball bearing it's practically not touching the offset lever because this part here doesn't allow the ball bearing to go up. So I can control how much the ball bearing touches the offset lever with how much material it's between this screw and this uh, the bottom plate from the from the, the case. So and to engage it's just you can use your fingers but always be careful with the bolt here. And now it's engaged in the front position. Once again Set lever is free and this is how it works. And now so just give a small snack. One important note that uh, I would like to show, although I think it's not going to be possible to see. It's these uh, bumps here, where the ball bearing will slide on. They will be under a lot of stress because the spring will push the ball bearing up and these bumps are trying to push the, the ball bearing down. So I, I didn't use much the shifter because this is still a prototype and uh, so far I think this uh, this part printed in PLA is holding quite well so I believe that after at least half year of usage this will be no problem uh, probably after more than a half year and depending on the usage that you will give uh, it can happen that these uh, fingers can be uh, broken or too too soft but only time will tell so far it's holding really really well and I'm quite impressed now I will try to put the the stronger springs so you can see the difference between engaging one versus the other. So once again offset lever is free for the lateral movement and now comes the difficult part is to engage the shifter. <coughs> this we need to be really careful because it can break your fingers. So one solution is to press it here and now it's with one finger it's so this is much harder this spring uh, with this spring one more thing that I would like to talk about is uh, that this place here this is the spring that sits here and this is where everything happens here inside and uh, you can control the distance in this 3D model how much the, the spring is compressed when it's assembled so if you feel that it's too, too soft one solution is to make this uh, distance between this face here and the this uh, ax, uh, this uh, this uh, shaft here where the ball bearing uh, f sits and this will make more force and you can control how much 
force you want to apply on the offset lever. So now we are going to close the, the case and for important we need to put these four bolts inside here, this is the housing it's not really important if it goes all the way in or not but you just put the four here and it's important to understand here that the the, the shifter plate it's not symmetrical this hole it's lower than this one so this plate can only go in one position but this one it can be mounted like this or like that there is no influence always position so once this is assembled you can put this here aside and then Now bolts. Uh, I'm not going to put the bolts that uh, I designed to be fitted here because I'm going to disassemble again this uh, shifter. So this is just to show how how is the basic assembly of the of the shifter but you should always use the bolts here and you notice as well that I didn't put the second uh, shifter it's because I I still don't have it everything connected and uh, I still didn't make the the support for the Arduino so but I just wanted to show the most important components positioned here. So now it's time. Come, now comes the time to put. Uh, you have to be careful to put this ball inside of the offset lever. It is, and then turn it around and try to. <laughs> uh, I like to use this tool to force the screw to go to its place. So now I need to make it off camera. So, ah, not good. Okay, now it's good. Okay. Other side. Now you have your shifter ready to use. It's easy to engage. So now I will show you how it feels assembled. Uh, just ignore this uh, shifter knob. It's just experiment that I made. And uh, so 